1952, my grandfather started the Triggervale Bond Stud. Um, that's certainly evolved um, over the years. A couple of the major parts of that evolution process has been the start of the White Suffing Stud. I was never really interested in the machinery or what type of tractor we had or the harvest, but I was certainly always interested to be down in the sheepyards during the classing. I could see then in these early days that he was very interested in, uh, in sheep. He always seemed to me to have an eye for a good sheep. I was originally from Golden Air in South Australia, but prior to being married and living in Lockhart, I was dancing in New York with the Martha Graham Dance Company. So a little bit different than the everyday <laughs> working on the farm. Since taking on Triggervale in our own right, Andrew and I have become definitely more focused on the sheep. It's a point that we both really enjoy um, and taking it to that higher level is really important to us now. It's an incredible time to be involved in the sheep industry. We've got so many powerful tools that our grandfathers didn't have and fathers didn't have. Um, with genomics coming online, with Australian sheep breeding values really being bedded down and becoming a very accurate, very useful tool in the market. The major focus we have in the polls is that we come from a different angle from pretty much most of the industry. We come from an angle of maternal. We've had a lot of weighting and focus on um, increasing growth rates, increasing muscle and increasing fat. And as a result, we're ending up with a much, much better maternal ewe. Our real objective here is to make sure that we make breeding decisions that are going to make our sheep more profitable for our commercial clients. Everything that really we weight and value in the breeding program has to come back to commercial reality. We need to get more lambs on the ground. They need to survive. There's been a lot of work coming out of the sheep CRC that are really, really showing the incredible benefits in lamb survival on these traits. So we've really, really put that into our breeding program. In the white suffix, it's just growth, muscle and meat yield. We've had a very clear breeding objective, simply to breed fast growing, commercially relevant rams to produce those sort of lambs that the industry needs. We line up each week with uh, lambs from the Lockhart district. Um, I would say the first 10 or 12 or 15 pens of lambs at Wagga in our sale are all by the Triggervale rams and their genetics and many times we have topped the lamb sale using the genetics there and the buyers can't get enough of them. We're very happy with the, the uh, quality of lamb for breeding. They're good long bodied uh, lamb and if we always say they got no, if you get a long bodied lamb you get an extra couple of chops or you know how you like your chops. <laughs> We've been purchasing rams from the Buffalo family at Triggervale since uh, I think 1964. We've been able to maintain our percentages. I think this season's probably nearly the best ever. We've, we've marked so far over 100% of lambs. The performance testing I like quite a bit because I like to sort of be at home, go through the catalogue. That allows me to have a small selection then. I can then objectively look at their wool and their the character of the sheep. My family's been dealing with the trigger rail um, stud for about 30 years. Father started with Jim and since I've taken over the farm I've been dealing with Andrew, buying his poles and white suffix. Uh, we like the convenience of being able to get both rams at the same spot, they're, they're bred so that they'll work together and um, we've been very happy with them. We've definitely noticed the end in, uh, change in our end product with especially going to the white suffix gives us that uh, cash flow during the middle of the year getting rid of suckers but it also helps us with um, Andrew's working hard to, to breed a bigger ram with better wool so we're finding we're getting a, a better product to sell at the end of the day and our, our wool checks a lot better as well. We like a, a good lamb but we also I think it's pivotal to have a good fleece of wool too. We're very happy with our wool. It, uh, it tests like it looks. Um, I think our weaners last year went under 21 micron, which we're very happy with. I, I do a lot of scanning away from home in a lot of areas, travel a lot of k's, and see every different type of sheep. And I think the Trigger Vale brand stands up. We'll do that for a year or two. And then... They're always happy to come over and work with you if you want them to do any classing or if you've got any problems with your ramps. So we can't recommend them highly enough. It makes me feel very proud to know that uh, you know that Andrew's been able to achieve such a success, and I, I'm pretty certain in my own mind that it's not going to end here. He's out there still trying to reach new goals, and I'm certain that he'll achieve even greater heights. To see everything that we're working towards blooming at this point in time is very rewarding.
Uh, the last 10 years seen a big influx of fly-by-nighters and different breeds from exotic breeds from overseas and things like that. They might come and they might go, but one thing for sure is the trigger valve are going to be here for a long time. Knowing that our work and our genetic performance is going on out into commercial flocks and making a real difference to these people's bottom lines, that is probably what gets us out of bed in the morning. It's just incredibly satisfying to know that your product's actually making a difference.